What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here and in today's video some really exciting news about T-Rex Unlocker. Even more unlocked than before. LOL Miner, pretty much the best on the market so they claim. Let's find out. Before we get into that, huge shout out to Crypt T for making this t-shirt. Look how awesome that looks. The DJ Minds t-shirt. I love this shirt. And on the back, it even says DJ Minds. It's really exciting for me because as a content creator, I've never had anything say my name for any of my YouTube channels. This is like my fifth YouTube channel and nothing has ever said my name. So yeah, how cool is that? You can also get a cool banner like this or even Red Pandas over there or Cavemans. Check them out. Crypti.co. I'll put a link in the description below and that will save you, I believe, 10% off your purchase. So why not? Anyways, guys, to get into today's video topic, we are talking about the new T-Rex Unlocker. They're claiming 78 to 79% unlocked. For me, this was really exciting because I've always preferred T-Rex even before all this LHR unlock stuff was coming out. And to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, NB Miner was the first one that really came out with the LHR unlocker. And it was huge because before that, we could only get 50% unlock but nb minor changed the game but as far as performance as far as stability i've always felt that t-rex was superior to lol minor or nb minor or anything else so recently we started using lol minor which just unlocked the memory temps and i think that's because of the nvidia hack that came on through hive os and that's been insane so we just got a boost guys of i think two to three percent not that long ago it was just a couple weeks ago so when i heard that t-rex was having the same situation i was like yes because again i really prefer T-Rex to anything else. G minor, LOL minor, NB minor, doesn't really matter. Phoenix minor, what a joke. But let me know what you guys prefer. Now, as far as the 3060, there are so many people getting 50 mega hash right now. And on certain 3060 TIs, I was able to achieve 50 mega hash. Hopefully I'm showing you that right now but it's at 150 watts, guys, 150 watts. And I, I don't know if pushing it to that limit is best for me. You know, I really like the 3060 Ti and the 3070 because it's so efficient, you know, 130 watts at most, 135 watts. I've always really liked that about the 3060 and the 3060 Ti. So for me, it's, I don't know, pushing it to 50 just to get two extra mega hash for 150 watts. That's pretty much 20 more watts than I would ever use normally. So I've decided for me as an at-home miner, because you have to understand a lot of these rooms only have 15 amps or 20 amps, depending on which room that I'm in, you know, that extra 20 mega hash, that adds up 20, 20, 20, 20. You know, you could easily get over 100. And if you do that times eight rigs, right? Like it just adds up on your bill and everything. So for me, yeah, I don't really push it to that 50, but yeah, I've seen at least one to three mega hash for every single GPU that I have. It doesn't matter. Uh, obviously, if they're not LHR, then it won't affect it. But like even these crappy Zotax, man, they have got a boost. Let me tell you guys, Zotax are the worst thing ever. And I bought a lot of Zotax because last year it was so hard to get graphics cards. And pretty much the only way to get graphics cards was the 3060 Ti or 3060 or even 3070 Zotax. Uh, and yeah, you can get them. You can still get them right now. But over time, these cards are doo-doo, man. The whole of the the fans are coming off. I can hear them constantly. You know, I have to replace them. Chump change has to replace them. Literally every single person that I talk to has to replace their Zotac fans over the course of six months or so, which is terrible because EVGA, absolutely incredible. Never had a, f a problem with any of these. Any of my gigabytes, the founder editions. Genuinely, the only problem I ever have is with this dang Zotac company. Hopefully you can hear me over the octave miner right now but my octo miner is where i'm getting the most gains now that's of course because this is a 12 gpu octo miner the x12 ultra not sponsored video or anything but one of my 3080s is getting 80 mega hash i mean just naturally i didn't change any overclocks 80 mega hash and lol miner was getting 76 so that's four mega hash guys just four mega hash off of a single gpu or or because of this t-rex um update like that's absolutely incredible here is what what Red Panda sent us to use. This is a HS handshake and it does see a coin right now. Incredible. I actually need to pack this up and send this to somebody. I won't tell you who, but it is a fellow content creator. But yeah, man, like I'm seeing anywhere from one to four mega hash on this rig. And in total, I think I'm getting an extra 22 to 24 mega hash. Like that's a lot of money guys for free, right? You didn't do anything special. 24 mega hash. Absolutely for doing nothing but hitting the button update. 
Here's the same situation, guys, with our XCs, our EVGA XCs. Sorry about the echo when I come to the garage. It, it is what it is. Yeah, anywhere from one to two. I think one of these added three mega hash. Again, for free, just hitting update. Like, what an incredible unlocker that this, is, this has right now. T-Rex is killing it. LOL Miner is killing it. And we're pretty much at 80% right now, guys. 80% unlocked. Like, that is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna estimate that we're getting about 100 extra mega hash. Honestly, it could be 120, but let's go with the low number. Once we hit calculate for the 24 hour on Ethereum, that's $4.05 before power extra every single day. Now, if we multiply that number by 30, which obviously would represent the month, we're at $121 extra for free, man. What? Imagine that at your job, getting a raise or not paying taxes on something. That's the difference there, guys. That's pretty big. And then over the course of the year, which of course, we never know if that's going to happen because of Ethereum, but let's just do it just for fun. That'd be $1,450. Pretty much for free because you clicked update on the new T-Rex miner. So obviously I don't know the size of your farm. It could be a much larger number than that. But to me, $121 for free extra, that's actually a lot of money, man. So let me know if you've made the change to T-Rex. I personally was waiting for it to come to Hybo West. That was like the biggest thing. I don't really try out the betas and all that. And you know, I saw Red Fox video and that was awesome. And I was very interested, but personally, I just kind of waited out until like the official version comes out just for bugs, just for convenience. I don't really like messing around with windows or anything or manually doing anything. I like to just click update, HiveOS, boom, I'm done and we're good to go. All right, so what's going on at the farm, guys? I've been live streaming pretty much every single day. I'm surprised at how many people are still watching and we've got so much stuff done, man. We've got the electrical in except for the panel. Everything else is in, all the outlets, all the wiring is ran. I put in one exhaust fan yesterday. I've cut out so many um, pieces of, of wood and I'm about to make the frame. Hopefully today, I'm pretty sure I'll have the box made by tomorrow. I'm still YouTubing it and how, how to do that. I got a bunch of foam, so I forgot what they call it. The, the foam that goes around the edges for the inside. I also got one to seal the exhaust in the outside. And man, things are really coming together, guys. And then next weekend, hopefully, we will have that four giga hash farm in my house or at my house. Sorry. If not, that's fine. You know, I can't really rush people that are helping me. Um, but very soon, guys, like our farm is about to double. We're currently at about 4.5 giga hash. It really depends on the time of day. But yeah, another four giga hash. We're going to be up to eight, 8.5. And then not to mention, I mean, Wow, we have so much stuff to do, man. I have like 12 or 13 GPUs right now that are not mining. And according to my board, that's 600 mega hash. So we'll be at about nine mega hash or nine giga hash, excuse me. <laughs> that would be terrible if it was nine mega hash. Nine giga hash, man. Like, you know, and if you really think about it, when I really think about it, when I get this four giga hash farm, I'm sure everything's in boxes because you're not going to travel from Florida to New York with everything fully assembled, right? So I'm probably going to have to you know, put everything in Hive OS and probably have to overclock everything. Cause he told me he doesn't actually use Hive OS. If he did use Hive OS, it'd be really easy to transfer. So I'm gonna have to take all the SSDs, everything. It's gonna be a lot of work, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna probably take me, you know, who 80 graphics cards on all these different rigs. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take me quite some time guys for sure, but I'm very excited. There's so much stuff that we have going on. And that's why I've been live streaming as well, guys, just because, you know, I, a lot of times I'm not having, I don't have the time to make a video because I need to prioritize the crypto mining over making videos. And live streaming in certain situations is really good because I just hit play and talk to you guys. And honestly, you guys are so helpful. Like I'm learning so much from all of you. I don't know anything about you know cutting out the wood or, or concrete or anything. And yeah, you guys are very helpful. So shout out to all of you. Ubi was, was incredibly helpful yesterday. But honestly, everybody who watches the live stream and gives me tips, man, as somebody who doesn't know anything about building or constructing, like I really appreciate every single one of you. As always, I do appreciate you guys watching this video to the very end. If you did make it, put in hashtag I made it. Please don't forget to check out crypti.co where you can get your beautiful red panda banner because I know you don't want mine. That's fine. <laughs> I love every single one of you guys. Check us out on Discord, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. DJ Minds, signing out.